In this video, we're gonna to attempt to cover six different kitchen layouts in under two minutes and explain to you the pros and cons of each one. Clothing by Design is all about giving people advice on designing their home, whether it be renovating or building. We give you tips and tricks to make sure you build a great home the first time rather than making mistakes. Please like and subscribe if you love the content that we have here today and leave a comment below so you can help us shape the content for the future. Now, let's get into it. All right, the first one is the galley kitchen. The galley kitchen has got two parallel kitchen benches running next to each other. They work very well because people can move to different sections of the kitchen, whether it be the fridge, the pantry, the hot plate, and they can work at different areas. The problem with the galley kitchen is that if you have too many people in the kitchen at one time, it can get congested trying to get from A to B and you gotta try and maneuver around people and can be quite difficult. The next one up is the U-shaped kitchen. The U-shaped kitchen runs in the shape of a U, as you can see uh, in front of you, but what happens with the U-shaped kitchen is it allows you to have everything at your fingertips but gives you a bit more bent space than what the galley kitchen will give you. Now this works really well for you, allowing you to get to the hot plate oven, everything that's at your fingertips. However, if you have to get to the other side of the bench of the U-shape, you can't cut through that you would with an island bench, you have to walk all the way around and that could take you a bit longer, which can get frustrating rather than just having to cut straight through. Next one is the C-shaped kitchen. C-shaped kitchen gives you lots of room, lots of space to maneuver around, a very big kitchen. Uh, you need a lot of space for this one. The great thing about this, you've got lots of bed space, lots of rooms. So you've got lots of family members that are jumping in there, helping you cook or prep. Uh, it can be a great kitchen for that. The issue with this though is sometimes the sink might be too far from the oven, hot plate, you just have to be that little bit further you have to walk around, which makes it a little bit more of a step, which can build up over time. So if that doesn't bother you, it's great. Next one is a country style kitchen, very similar to the C-shaped kitchen, but it actually has an island bench in the middle. Lots of room, lots of space, plenty of bench space, plenty of storage, so it's very popular. The thing with this is you have to walk around the island bench, it's sort of in the way. You have to do even more steps that you would with a sea kitchen, it can be too big for you sometimes. Now the L-shaped kitchen, the L-shaped kitchen is a great design. It takes up very little space, which is why it's very popular. It's really good for small to medium sized kitchens. It can have quite a few people in there and there's, nothing, there's no parallel bench there to inhibit you getting access to different parts of the kitchen. So you can actually maneuver quite well through there. The problem with the kitchen is that if you want a large kitchen, it just spreads out too far into the, into the space. So it's too far between ovens and hot plates if you go for a larger kitchen. This is the last one. My favorite is a combination of two. That's the L-shaped kitchen, because again, it's got lots of components and it's, it takes up two walls, mixed with the island bench. An island bench in the middle there, which, which is sort of a galley kitchen meets L-shaped kitchen. The two combination between that gives you two entrance points and exit points for the kitchen. It also allows you to access everything at your fingertips. We've just covered six designs in two minutes. So obviously it's a bit of an overview of each one. If you'd like to see a bigger deep dive into each of these designs, Leave a comment below as to what kind of videos and content you would like us to have. We'll take it on board, and if we can do as many as we can to cater for you, we will.